The almost entirely vacant Richland Mall is set to be demolished. The city of Forest Acres announced the developer is under contract to buy the property and will be building new housing and businesses. Richland Mall is at the corner of Forest Drive and North Beltline Boulevard, not far from AC Flora High School. Closures have been plaguing that mall for more than 15 years. Chris Joseph has details on what the development could mean for the Forest Acres community. What you see is largely what you get. With a few exceptions, the mall is 931,000 square feet of largely unused space. That will be changing in the coming years. The city of Forest Acres announced Southeastern Development will buy and tear down the mall. It will be replaced with a grocery store, apartments, green space, and a brewery. The city will buy the green space and develop a park on the land. It's a game changer. I mean, to not to sound trite, but it, it is going to change Forest Acres. City Councilman John Barnes says the project will draw in people to the community to live and play. The city's press release gives a 10 year timeline for the project to be completed. That 10 years of work will change the front porch view of Dave Burlier and his neighbors. It's not the best view on the planet, right? You know, you've got this just monstrosity of a, of a mall. We just drive by it. It's, you know what it is? It's like everything in life, right? You just kind of get used to it. For all its aesthetic failings, the empty mall has been quiet. He says he has mixed feelings about the project. A lot of noise, a lot of construction, a lot of people. Um, and so that's a little concerning, you know, to, to figure out what, what exactly is going to happen, how it's all going to play out. And we're of the mind that we don't want to be here when that happens. So the goal is to try and maybe move prior to all that. Um, but really, I think, it's, I think it's great for the city. I mean, this, this big monstrosity of a thing that uh, is getting no use, is making no money for the city, and now we'll have an opportunity to turn that around. Down the road, Greta Doby values the quiet as well. It's really important. I mean, that's why I'm here, and that's why I've stayed here, you know. Um, it's, it's like back here we're in the city, but it feels like we're not in the city. You know, it feels like we're out in the woods, you know, especially on the back of the house. But yeah, I'm going to miss that if that gets taken. Businesses are going to make investment there in terms of, again, what it looks like, what it feels like. So I think that that's going to be a much better alternative than, frankly, a gigantic million square foot eyesore. Plus, they're going to have the, an added amenity that they've never had um, of another park being in Forest Acres. The next step is for the developer, Southeastern, to close the deal and then hire an architect to draw up the plans. It's expected that'll take six months. In Forest Acres, Chris Joseph, WIS News 10.